Hi, so here on the bench we have an 820-3476 motherboard for the MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch 2013 model F1502. Obviously, if it's here, it doesn't work like it should. So, if we do a quick diagnostic of the problem, when we plug in the MagSafe. As you can see, we get green light going to orange. If we probe the PUD core to see if it's turning on, it is indeed turning on. We have 1.75 volts on the PUD core. But if we plug in the USB mouse, the light of the optical sensor should go red and stay red. But here instead, it's blinking. So it's not posting properly, it's looping. Just to confirm the symptoms, we are gonna be comparing with the ground good board, same model number. If we unplug this, plug into the non good board. Let's unplug everything. So same thing, we get green light. If we measure CPU core, we get 1.75 volts. And after a little while, we are getting red light in the USB mouse. So on this board, the USB controller is initializing properly. So it's putting, but on the other one, it's not. So, as I was probing around on this board just to check a few power rails, so what we could do is check the power rails in a sequence. Obviously, if we have if we have a green light, then and sometimes it doesn't work because I short the thing out. If we have an orange light, then we have EP3 for 2 but uh, just Let's switch to the board view and check PP3 before 2 in the future. On the other side for me. So if we check its voltage right here, 3.42 volts, which is perfectly fine. Then we also need to G3 hot. EPWS G3 hot. EPWS G3 hot is available. Right. So if we check right over here, we get it 12.6 volts. Then we can check P5, 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 S5. It's going to be on the other side of the board. So let's check that. P5, 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 S5. PP5 VS5 here, 5.1. So no PP3 S5. PP3 V3 S5. 3.3 volts. P3 
happy uh, freebie free sus happy freebie free sus freebie here and it's fine pp 1v8 sus we don't have it uh, let's just double check is a power rail page so we check pp3 pp bus g3h pbdc we have obviously uh, ppv rtc g3h and you we have it but let's not so if we check over here PP5, yes, files. PP3, we free sus. Do we have a uh, PP1, your file sus? This is the one I was looking for. Okay. PP1, your file sus should be here. And then no other we check G3H S5 and sus rails we go to S4 so PP5 VS4 S4 so PP5 VS4 5.5 volts, it's fine. PP3 V3 S4 here. Let's check over here, for example. And PP3 V3 S4 is 2 volts. So obviously, that's a problem. Just to double check, let's pick another place to measure it. Two volts right over here. If we have direct shot to ground on this rail, 32 kg. So let's check where this is generated. PP3 S4 and PP3 S4 is gonna be generated not here, not here, here. U8000 so U8000 is this guy right over here so we have input pin 135 sorry um, input pin 246 which is PP3 V3 S5 we checked that earlier and it's fine on output on 135 which is not fine uh, current sense resistor which is not populated on the board and i'll put right here and we have an enabled signal on pin 8 and ground on pin 7 so we are interested in measuring pin 8 but unfortunately we can't do that on this chip directly since it is bga chip so we are going to look for this signal elsewhere. So, for example, on this. So let's plug back 
and this. Let's turn it on. Light on the moment. And we're going to very change mode. And we are on here, on here. And we have this small resistor, which is 3.3 volts. We can check on the point, 3.3 volts. But we have still not the correct voltage. And we prefer the free as four. So, input is good. Enable signal is good. Output is not good. And we don't have a direct track to run. So, two possibilities here. Either one chip is acting up only when it's turned on and pulling down the voltage, or there is a derived, uh, derived power rail that's not right, or U80, uh, U800, 8000, U8000, sorry, uh, is bad. So going for this possibility that U8000 is bad, one thing we could do, since it is a BGA chip and I don't have them really available, just make sure it is the problem we are gonna jump input to output bypassing the switch just for testing so for testing we are gonna put a small forgot to, to switch to schematic board view so we are gonna put a small jumper wire from the input to the output to see what's going on so let's pull the wire Here we have some jumper wire, soldering iron, maybe flux, solder, solder wick, let's get the solder wick too. and connect everything. Which we're gonna need. So we're also doing a new power supply. Don't forget to unplug MagSafe. So doing a new. Okay. Now let's see yep. Put some solder in the pads. So now it should be solder. And we have continuity. So let's plug everything back in and check if we made any progress. Light, orange light. Let's plug USB mouse. And we are still doing the same. Yep. But what is our voltage and DP3 V3S4 now? Now it's 3.3 volts. So we potentially solved one problem. We use this just for testing. This chip needs to be replaced. But we still have another problem. So, in this situation where 
mouse is blinking, one thing that comes to mind is EFI corruption, which is possible, could be something else, but it is a possibility. And just because I'm lazy and I have a donor board right here, I'm gonna swap the EFI chips here and there just to exclude this possibility of corrupt EFI. So let's do that. Let's pick my hotel station. Okay, so now that's done. Let's check again. We still have 1.75 volts on CPU record, but USB mouse is still blinking. So, same problem, meaning it wasn't the EFI. So, if it's not EFI, what could it be? I see some weird stuff. Here. What do we have? This should be only related to audio jack, so probably not the problem. Let's just try an SMC bypass. SMC on L. Where are our power on pads? Here. What's this? Where is it? I don't care. I care about this. Let's short the power on pads. Can get good contact. And still same stuff. And we have two knocked off components right over here. So those are the air 
0652 and 0652 or 0652 IPX2 or 0651 that might be important since it's for DDR3 or 0650 or 0652 or 100 and 200 ohms let's take those from our demo boards let's see the pads get some flex and get to it So, our MagSafe is right here, our USB mouse, right there, so plug it in, and red light, orange light, So here we go, it lights up and stays on, so this should be working, hopefully, or at least we fixed one problem, there might be others, we spotted a few of them during our work. So we know that we need to replace U8500. Maybe we need to touch up some stuff right there. There was some liquid here. And uh, yeah, that's it. We need to swap back EFI to the other board because. Uh, the new region is dirty, the file we put on right there, so we have to swap back the original one, and uh, yeah, we 